Hi Eagle View families, this is Miss Beasley and I'm here to tell you everything you need to know about the student item retrieval process at Eagle View Elementary. Please follow along with me as I go over the graphic so that you may get all of your students items safely and efficiently. So I'm going to start sharing my screen now. All right, so student retrieval is going to be on Thursday the 21st from 8 to 7 or on Friday the 22nd from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. You may come at any of those times to pick up your students' items. If you see right here, you're going to come in through the main car rider entrance and there will be a staff member or two stationed here to take down your students' names, their teachers, and their grade levels. They're gonna walk you to the gym so that all of those items are ready for you to pick up when you get down that way. They're also going to ask you if you have any medications that you need to pick up from the office. Then you'll safely drive down in one lane right here through the bus lane and if you have any items to drop off, you'll drop them off here where the buses normally stop. Items that you might drop off are library books, playaways, textbooks, or anything that your child may have borrowed from the teacher to take home during virtual learning. If you have medications, you're going to continue on and you're going to park in the handicap spots by the office. There you'll need a photo ID to retrieve the medications, but a staff member will bring them out to you, check your ID, and give them to you. Then you will come into this lane after you pick up the medications, or if you don't have any medications, you'll bypass this part right here. So there'll be one lane of cars right here. So you're going to safely pull into this lane and stop and some staff members will bring out your students items. So these items will be in bags and they will have different papers and things in them. They can put them in the front seat or the back seat or the trunk wherever the minimal amount of contact is going to occur is where it would be best for them to place the bag for the safety of you and your family and the staff members. Once they have the bags in your car, you are free to safely drive off, but we need to stay in one lane. So make sure that the car in front of you already has their stuff, and then you're gonna pull out the car rider exit here. The papers that are in the bag might be notes from the teachers or things like that, but there's also a paper in there in case you have any missing items. That needs to be dropped off back by the school and it has some information on it that tells you how those items might be retrieved and the timeline on that. I hope that this explained what it will be like to retrieve the student items. We miss you all so much and we can't wait to see you on Thursday and Friday. If you have any questions about the retrieval process, please email your child's teacher or contact the front office of the school. Thank you, have a great day, bye.